hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with another fgo uh, voice lines reaction video and i am going to react to two more indian servants today uh one is parvati another one is ganesha and uh, yeah so let's get started without wasting any more time i chose these two because you know like parvati and ganesha mother and child so because of that <laughs> to do it in the same video so first i'm going to react to parvati uh, parvati's voice lines then i'm going to react to ganesha's and i'll also talk in the middle uh, my impressions and all that stuff um i have parvati myself and i think i've heard a few of her voice lines before uh, but not all of them so yeah let's let's check it out so uh, first i'm going to react to parvati vo uh, lancer's voice lines all the videos that i'll be reacting to in this uh, reaction video will be given down and linked down in the description box so yeah let's get started parvati lancer's voice lines here we go Konnichiwa. Kardeya no master -sa. all right here we go Kotari wa... キュラかな少女の体を借りて権限させていただきました。よっ。私も不慣れな状況ですので、一緒に成長させてくださいますか。ずっとお部屋にいるのは健康です。オッケー。ダイアログ1、オーライト。一緒にどこかに行ってみませ
カルデアのにぎやかさに包まれているとは。Like, I'm not a big fan of this dress. That's why I put her normal dress on. 学校に行ったことはありませんのでこれは彼女の感覚に基づいた話なんですけど。Okay, that was an ad. Alright. 少しはメガミっぽくなりましたか <laughs> like these ones I've heard, like because obviously I myself send her, but I forgot I think. Yeah, I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if I should do that. この度は定粛に戦いでも裾を乱さない姿を心がけました。本当は桃色の服装が良かったのですけど、それは今の私には似合いませんから。ピンガメット、she is she talking about、uh, you know like in in the event that we had her and Kama the one which you know the other girl I forgot her name was in Parvati's。ここまでたどり着けるとは。みんなあなたのおかげです。Okay. ありがとうございます。Oh, maybe pink because okay because of the lotus. Yeah. <笑>強くなっちゃいました。<笑> okay, that when it, she changes to the dress. 着慣れないはずなのに落ち着く衣装なんですね。<笑>どうですか、マスター。I really don't use this costume dress. I I'm not a big fan of this. Or I wouldn't say I'm not a big fan, but I'm much a bigger fan of this dress, this one, than the gym outfit that she wears. So I always keep it in this one, you no, know, in this in this third ascension. Like I I I really like the. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I, I got distracted by something else. Anyways, um, yeah, I really like the you know the the dress and the, the you know the ornaments and the costume design that she has, um, in her third ascension, and that's why I keep it that way all the time. And the the gym outfit is nice, you know, it's nice, but I'm not that much a big fan of gym outfits. Like I don't, I don't, I know like there's a few people who are like crazy about gym outfits and everything. I don't get the feel in them. I really don't. <laughs> It's probably just me. So yeah, like when it came out, I'm like, ah, a new costume dress, It's all well and good, but I'll keep it this way. So <laughs> okay. Now,、uh, all right, Parvati. So. Yeah, she helps out immensely. Like you know, like before I, I think before I started doing YouTube, I really didn't use her much because I didn't know how to properly use her. And after when Skadi came, I realized that okay, you can actually NP loop her and deal like continuous damage, like immense damage each and every turn. By if you if you get lucky in RNG and get proper cards, you know, like those cards to link them with. And、uh, yeah, you can probably just keep using a noble phantasm every turn for one or two, three turns. So I realized that, and I'm like, damn, she deals so much damage with it. And then, like you know, like I, I, I kind of use her now whenever there's、uh, some kind of a tricky boss or something. Like, for example, like I don't know, like a few.、Uh, she's a lancer. So Lancer means saber. She is advantageous to a saber, isn't she? Yeah. So if there's like two, three sabers or something like that, or two sabers, one berserkers, and they have like huge health chunks of health. Yeah, double Skadi and Parvati always. <laughs> I do have Valkyrie as well, and I, I've heard like she also works pretty well with Skadi, but I I highly prefer Parvati. And I even I think I even like you know、uh, um, born, like grade her to level ninety or something. Yeah. Because just because of that, and all her skills, I've I've just leveled up to ten. <laughs> oh, I got very lucky when I got her. You know, like I I think I used like a few summon tickets and I got her、uh, during her when she first came out. And、uh, yeah, 
All right. She, she honestly she doesn't have much to say about a lot of people I could see. She only talked about Ishtar and that's it, isn't wasn't it? I guess this is like one year ago, so Kama was still not there, I'm guessing. Yeah. So that's why she doesn't have any lines about Kama. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, I've heard these like you know, lines so much. I've, I've used it so much that I actually like have heard this multiple times. これが私のテンまで届く恋の波動。あ、ごめんなさい、ハクレット。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I've not heard. I have heard of this before, but I forgot. This is a Kama event, isn't it? Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ちょっと冒険してみました。はい。<笑><笑> I don't think there's any new goddess. Like, all god and goddesses are old, aren't they? Like, okay. Oh, I remember these. Oh, yeah, using the Hanafuda cards. Alright. <laughs> Wait, what? What's she eating? <laughs> Wait, what? Manju, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I use her, I've used her a lot of times, so I, I know all of her. Like, as I was saying, like, a crit generation is really good. I... Especially... The one where she kind of... You know, there's like one of them where she kind of points at Tishu like, on top and the lightning comes down. That... That's like... That brings up so many crit stars. I'm sure they're going to so show us. No, not this one. I think this one. Yeah, this one. No, no, not this one. Or was it this one? Okay. This one. This one. This brings out so many crystals. When you 
you know, just after a noble phantasm and it just boosts your noble phantasm got so much that oh boy I think. Like, third skill. I barely even use it because you know she's the one who actually needs the extra noble phantasm. Uh, you know, like gods. So using her noble phantasm to transfer it to someone else. Never really use it. But I think if you actually use it on her. It reduces her noble phantasm god a little bit. I think 20 percent, and then increases it by twenty five percent. So you get like a five percent increase net if if your level is ten, skill level is ten. Okay, that's it. All right, that was Parvati. I was kind of surprised she barely had anything to talk about all the other servants. She just talked about Ishtar a little bit, obviously because she's Rin, and that was just it. And I, I can kind of understand the reason why because. Uh, when she came out, she came out a long time ago. So when she came out, there was barely any servants who she had, I guess, any connection with. Ashwatthaman was not uh, out. Neither was Ganesha nor Kama. I think, yeah, yeah, none of them were there when she, she was released. So the only one who she had like a connection with is um, um, Ishtar. Uh, since obviously Ishtar is Rin, so that's why, that's why I guess there's like barely anything she talks about. Um, so yeah, like, um, I don't know, like, you know, like, I've heard like the uh, Arjuna's voice lines have changed. Uh, no, not Arjuna, sorry, Rama, I think Rama, yeah, like in the previous video, like, uh, in the comment section, a lot of people told me like Rama's uh, have a, like a few new voice lines which talks about a few other um, servants. I'm not sure if Parvati also has that uh was her voice lines renewed or not i'm not sure but i might go and check it out like you know and see if there's any other additions to her voice lines because there's a lot of servants out now who she can talk about you know like kama um uh, 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 as i said like kama who else did i say ashwatthaman um ganesha especially ganesha I, I was at least i was expecting her to talk about ganesha but nah i realized when she was out ganesha was not there so yeah okay so parvati now <clears throat> obviously like parvati is one of the hindu like you know indian goddesses and uh yeah she's a wife of lord shiva <laughs> and now <laughs> this is a funny thing i've seen about sakura faces they always get paired up with indian servants don't they for example here parvati uh like you know in, in sakura's body uh, then kama as well you know, where like it gets like you know attuned to Sakura. Um, as far as I remember, her alter egos, for example, I think uh, uh, Passion Lip and uh, uh, Meltrilis, both of them has like some Indian servants within them, don't they? Let me check. Uh, Passion Lip. I think Passion Lip has. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I think Passion Lip has. Okay, here we go. Passion Lip has Parvati. Durga and Brynhild so yeah like two of them are like you know Indian Indian goddesses and both Parvati and Durga are like kind of like the alter egos you can say uh, Parvati and Durga are kind of the same um uh okay uh, first component of passion lip is Parvati the goddess of beauty from Hindu mythology she's a fertility goddess who loves her husband the god of destruction Shiva with blind devotion while Durga, the second component of Passion Lip is Durga, the goddess of war, considered to be the facet of Parvati. There you go. Uh, she possesses ten divine weapons, and Passion Lip's gigantic nails are the incarnation of those ten nails. Oh, really? Oh, I did not know that. Oh, like, uh, like I, I would love if they actually, like, you know, uh, make uh, either Kali or Durga as a servant, because Durga has, as, as, as they said, ten hands, and I would love to see that in FGO, like, you know, a servant with ten hands you know like 10 hands comes like in from her back there's like 10 of them and each hand has a weapon like 
how cool is that she rides on a lion and you know like like i would love to see durga and kali as well i think kali has four hands in, in her back and that there are variations as well uh while kali is more of a like you know like a, uh what can i say like a more um, uh what can i say like uh, like a more angry a more uh darker aspect to parvati they're like two like you know like uh sides of a coin like Parvati is like happy and everything while Kali is just you know like almost like kind of mad constantly and like destroying everything that type of a thing so I would love to see them as servants as well who knows maybe in the future someday because uh, you know passion Leap does have Durga within her so I'm guessing maybe in the future they might bring her because both Parvati and Brynhild are here as a servant so why not Durga uh, so yeah like that's that's passion Leap, you know passion Leap again like in a part of Sakura you know like as a, like a thing of Sakura uh, also has two Indian servants <laughs> within her. What about Meltrilis? I think Meltrilis also have. Let me check. Uh, Meltrilis has. Okay, there you go. I knew it. I. Uh, Meltrilis has Artemis, Leviathan. I didn't. Okay. And Saraswati. Saraswati, another Hindu servant. Saraswati is. Uh, it's one of the uh, children of Parvati again. Uh, and she is uh, the god of wisdom, you know, like, uh, and, you know, knowledge, you can say. Um, uh, here we go. The, the third component of Meltrilis is her primary component. And her primary component in normal circumstances. Oh, really? It's the primary component. is Saraswati, uh, a river goddess. She holds the ability to control things that flow, such as natural phenomena, among which is water, wind, music, words, speech, poetry, and prose. There you go. Uh, the timber that flows from her can excite any motion of herd uh, for those who can hear it moreover interfere with flow of electricity and computer network they, they, they did not say anything about her knowledge like she she's the goddess of uh, knowledge wisdom you can say you know like i like you know i, I remember like this like uh uh like, you know we worship uh, lots uh, like goddess saraswati here uh, every year and uh, there's a particular day and uh, you know like children especially who like you know are, like you know like go to school and colleges and stuff and like you know who are heavily involved with uh like you know studying they it's like a big thing for them as well and because obviously you know like she's the god of knowledge and you know like uh like wisdom so like you know children students they like pray to her for uh <laughs> you know for knowledge and uh you know like wisdom and stuff like that so yeah she she's like she, like I, I i i like and i also like you know we also have to have those uh like you know we used to, we used to worship her as well and uh, like every every like you know i think every everyone worships her here everyone like there's not a single person who doesn't so yeah like like we like we indians are huge with festivals like <laughs> oh boy like there's like <laughs> like so many festivals in um like you know in a year like like so much like it, it, for us it's like oh like you know this is happening we should make a festival out of it and that's just us <laughs> oh boy and uh, i'm going on a completely different uh, like you know like topic uh, and in uh, like you know when we worship goddess durga it actually it's like one of the biggest festivals in our place it's uh, you know like when we worship the goddess durga it happens for 5 days continuously five days you know it it happens the you know the 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 f festival and yeah it's it's amazing like you know it's just such a blast uh so anyways um i'm going to do a completely different thing so yeah um that was uh parvati and uh, yeah what i was saying i was saying like uh sakura is very attuned to i think indian servants i don't know why but like i feel like like every like you know every alter ego of sakura has something indian within her you know like uh, parvati kama saraswati Gdurga, uh, uh, all these things and i do know like there are a few other alter egos of uh sakura as well i think uh they're called sakura five here we go passion leap melt release uh king protea we already have king protea as well. wait is there anyone in king who is king protea made of i didn't i don't know that let me check components oh my god just a sec components uh titania oh really titania is airavata wait wait a minute who is airavata it's from indian mythology as well i don't know who is this airavata airavati is a white elephant that carries the deity indra oh really oh i did not know that okay 
It's called Abra Matagar, meaning elephant of the clouds. Ayurveda has four tusks and seven trunks and it's spotless white. I did not know this one. Okay, so again, another like, you know, uh, uh, like, component is like of Indian origin here. Oh, King Protea as well. And Tiamat. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. Uh, you know, King Protea and Tiamat. Okay. So there's two others as well. I won't look at them because I'm guessing they are going to be released in the future. So I, like, you know, I'll, I'll stop myself from looking at them because I might get spoiled. Uh, this violet i think and kazura drop i've been hearing a lot about kazura drop you know like these five alter egos like violet and kazura drop and i, I think we might get them in the future i don't know that's uh, there's a lot of people talking about kazura drop so these are the five components of uh, uh no, sorry uh, five alter egos of sakura and the three of them that i look uh, looked at passion leap melt release and king protea all has something indian within them and uh, <laughs> like let me know like is there like a particular reason why she's so attuned to indian servants and uh, you know indian like you know mythology like let me know um i i i like you know when she was introduced i i i, I know i know that she said something about her like you know her original body that is sakura being more accust attuned to parvati you know and I, it does make sense i guess because sakura is like you know is like calm like you know uh, uh, a kind-hearted well-mannered type of personality and parvati you know like goddess of love and you know like the kind of uh, i guess it is attuned you can say like they kind of match because of that but is there any other particular reason why she attracts so many indian servants <laughs> let me know uh but yeah okay and what else um nothing much to say as i said like they, she barely talks about almost anything her bond lines were kind of interesting uh her, <laughs> the thing about ishtar that she said is like she kind of like gives a ooh -hoo -hoo laugh in the end i was like wait a minute <laughs> what type of laugh is there is, is she like mad or something the way she laughed it kind of like you know it was kind of <laughs> scary you can say you know that type of laugh like ooh -hoo -hoo, that type of laugh <laughs> that she gave oh boy but anyways um yeah and that's it uh nothing other to say about parvati all right let's uh let's uh, uh check out the next one uh uh kama uh, no uh ganesha ganesha yeah i forgot who i was uh going to <laughs> react to oh my god this is it <clears throat> okay um fate grand order ganesha moon cancers voice lines so let's get started then here we go cannot jinako promising day <laughs> ガネーシャでは。オッケー。我は昼だけで何時に富をもたらすもの。うん。あまり全然に出さないよ。Which <laughs> なんの因果か。我がサーバントになるとは。深夜に食べる。ポテチ。ワオ。あ。あ。なぜ働く。なぜリアルな充実する。Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> wow, okay, she is too meta. I cannot, she's just constantly breaking the fourth wall. Okay. Soro <laughs> soro. 
<laughs> but at bond level 3 she's still in the first ascension she's like quick <laughs> I wow okay this is one of the most funniest lines i've ever heard Wow, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> Need must. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. She. Okay. She, I think she's the one most hilarious. Then to the offerings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'll have to get her using the SSR tickets. The next one, this one's waiver. <laughs> Alright, okay. Drop. <laughs> My <laughs> Okay. First ascension. Okay, here's when she's going to come out. Yep, there you go. Yes. Go on, tabe te nete okita ra kami sama ni natte ita. Nani o itte irun da ka wakaranai to mou kedo boku mo zenzen wakaranai ze. Is that a light novel title? Sonna wake de aratamete jiko shoukai su.僕は通りすがりの神様系サーバントガネーシャ気軽にガネーシャさんと呼んでほしいっすまあ、せさえないレア目的が一緒だから手を貸すんすよ。ジナ、ガネーシャさんはここの心霊サーバントなのに。<笑><笑><笑>君がマスターなら あ、その、えっと、僕は別に何も言ってないっすからね。いかしがないとか笑顔で何でも押し切れると思ってるのが立ちが悪いとか、そういう発言は家族だからこそのあれで。わお、オッケー、シーズ。ちょっと僕フレ
<笑>この生産性のなさとても立ち打ちできまい<笑>勝った OK、yeah なんかちょっと悲しくなってきたっす She's a gamer or a wizard, isn't she?、Uh, while Osaka Behime is like an anime or manga なんでここにいるんすかどうせまたろくでもないこと考えているんだろう Wait, why? Oh, probably because of extra Fate extra He has connection with BB, yeah I was like, why is she talking about BB? And then I realized like she and BB is there in Fate Extra. うん。みたいな。まあ、多分私の知らないところでがっぷり美味しい見返りはゲットしてるはずっす。わお。なので、感謝とかはしないまま、私はあいつのおもちゃにされないうちに、そっと子たちの中に身を潜めるのであった。
あ、君もよく働いてるよ。うん。この調子でもっと見つけてほしいな。Is she pretending to be Ganesha? Like the original? Like Ganesha's、um, portion is very less in Jinako. Like her, her original self is more. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go to the book. I'm going to go to the book. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Human okay. Okay, that's ね。And <laughs> the, 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 the fourth wall breaking, all I, I feel like she, she's one of the most hilarious. She has the most hilarious、uh, voice lines out of all, almost all the servants that I've seen, I think. Oh boy. Okay, um, <clears throat> Ganesha, um, yeah, like, what can you say? I feel like Jinako is perfect for, you know, like being Ganesha, and um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so、um, now here's the thing. I like when Lost World 4 came out, I was, I think, like, I was, I have al already been playing FGO for like two years or something.、Uh, because I started when、uh, Nero Fest was going on, the first one, you know. Like, I started、uh, not almost at the beginning, but when the Nero Fest was ongoing, I started FGO then. So. If you calculate it like that, I guess it was almost two years, I think two years, two and a half years or something,、um, that <coughs> I've been playing FGO when the Lost Bell 4 came out, and that's when Ganesha came out. No, wait a minute. No, no, I'm talking about JP, you know.、Um, like, Lost Bell 4 in NA came out very recently. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about JP, when in JP it was released. Yeah, it, it, it must be. Like, you know, like I've been playing this game for. Like four years almost. So, Lost Bell 4 came out in NA, came out very recently, and it's usually two year gap, you know, like when NA and、uh, JP comes out. It's like two years difference. So, that means two years ago, yeah, I've been playing this game for two years when Ganesha came out in JP. That's what I'm trying to say. And I, <laughs> I was shocked when I saw Ganesha. I was like, wait, what? I was like, I was really shocked. <laughs> Because obviously, you know, Ganesha, like, it's Gina Kwan, and she's a female. And I was like, oh boy, people, there's a lot of people who are going to get pretty pissed at this, especially, you know, people who are you know, heavily into religion and stuff. And I'm like, oh boy, this might start a controversy or something. I think it. Kind of did a little bit, then it kind of died down, I guess. And I realized little by little why they put Jinako as Ganesha because obviously she is more attuned to Ganesha and BB connected them. And that's why it's Jinako. And you can say, like, Jinako and Ganesha d o e s have a lot of things in common, you know? Like, okay. <laughs> What? ピコカンバルピコカンバルパワーパワーオーケー What is this, ジョジョそうがないっすね。物好きな。All right, OK。見せちゃう、yeah. 無情な労働命令っす。<笑>驚きのありがたさ。ヒギぽっちゃりの舞い。What? ジャビダンスうーん、なんかアタック。あとで美味しくいただくっすよ。行<咳>け、ムシカくん。ムシカ。Where who? Who's ムシカ？超ありがたいフラッシュ。<笑>ピッカー。もう頭きた。ガネーシャさんのすごいところ見せてやる。事業安泰、発見よし。ビジネス。今激きをもの。ガネッシュ、インパクト。おおおお。
it wouldn't matter because you are a brother. <笑>今伝説の <laughs> なぜここまで体が重いんすかこの丸み、そしてこの丸み。オッケー。オッケー。<笑><笑> Wow, this, this music is pretty hype. What is this music? Oh, damn, this is some shonen anime music. What's happening? <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to say, I, I'm not so familiar with her attacks. Let me see it now. Mushkokun. Oh, is that her? Mouse? <laughs> She's destroying the manju. <laughs> Nanka attack. Damn, this music is pretty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I was. I was really stressing out who should I pick in the ne next SSR ticket, not this one, not this year's one. I was really pondering whether I should get Artori or Saber or Ganesha. If I don't get spooked by either of them, I'll probably choose Ganesha. She is hilarious. I do know that Artori or Saber after she gets her skill, you know, like tweak, Artur Saber becomes extremely strong. I know that. But still, I, I think I have to choose Ganesha. Ganesha. <laughs> <laughs> に今伝説のガネシュインパクトおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
Okay. <laughs> Statue is somersaulting. Need. Must. Die, need, must. Okay. Is that all she says while attacking in, in her um, uh, statue form? <laughs> okay. Wait, so she has NP regen, uh, target focus, and invincibility. Yeah, she's a, an amazing tank. The money is. Yeah, she's. I think uh, Ganesha. Yeah, Ganesha, the god of uh, prosperity, business. You can say. What is the size of the secret? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I think this now it's it's the end. <laughs> Drop a rare item. Okay. Okay, wow. Oh my god. Okay, this I had the most fun actually reacting to her voice lines. Okay, she's so like you know, uh, much breaking the fourth wall. Like it's kind of insane, you think if you say it like that. Okay, so she has two different portions. One is when she's in the statue. One is when she's out of the statue. And when she's in the statue, her lines are hilarious and just breaking the fourth line continuously. And she's like, oh, like like I I love that portion when she's like, wait a minute, I'm like in at bond three or four. Why am I still in this statue? Shouldn't you ascend me? Like just just. <laughs> That line was like you know, hilarious. I'm like, wow, okay. And <clears throat> other than that, okay, yeah. Now I'm. I think, as I said, I'm. I'm pretty much. I've pretty much made up my mind. Uh, this uh, SSR ticket, I'm going to get waiver. But the next one, I was kind of thinking about who should I get, Artoria Saber or Ganesha. Um, unless and until either of them spooks me. And yeah, I. I changed my mind. I. I was thinking I was going to get Artoria Alter, but uh, not Alter. Sorry, Artoria. But no, I'm going to get Ganesha and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I know Artoria is a lot stronger and I think like, you know, her skills change in one of the updates. Like this, I think she gets one skill where all her uh, command cards becomes buster or something. Like that's very strong. So something like that. Um, that's why I was thinking about getting her. But I'm, now I'm like, nah, I'm getting, I'm getting Ganesha. Like, yeah, she, like, oh my god. <laughs> She has a lot to talk about, especially about the servants that she knows. Uh, she talks about Parvati, she talks about Ashwatthaman, she talks about Karna. She also talks about, uh, I think, uh, the, yeah, the extra servants, Bibi. She talks about Bibi, Seizo, and Kiara. So many servants she talks about. And most of them, a lot of them are from uh, Fate Extra. And uh, I'm guessing, like, you know, the, the part where she talks about all the other extra servants, is if you have Nero with you as well, because Nero was also an extra, wasn't she? Yeah, extra CC. Nero Bride was there. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, like she, she, her voice lines are very, like, you know, like uh, detailed, you can say. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we can see she has like this type of a uh, infinity complex, you can say. And I think um, she, her character herself is kind of like that, Jinako's character. It's kind of like a person who is uh, uh, has a lot of inferiority complex, I think, you know, and um, that's probably why it's kind of showing here because she was continuously telling like, oh, like, you know, why am I here? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like, how am I still surviving up until now? 
<laughs> and obviously she loves her games oh she also talks about rosa kawehime and uh, yeah both of them are kind of like the same um like person with kind of like the same hobby both are otaku in different you know like one is game otaku one is anime uh, manga otaku so <laughs> yeah and ganesha's most of her ganesha's lines are kind of uh like you know kind of attuned to gaming like she was saying like oh like a rare drop might like you know come out or something like that <laughs> and <laughs> I'm guessing she's that type of a character who just plays MMOs, like you know, just MMOs and like you know stuff like that, RPGs and stuff, like not shooters. She like she probably doesn't play any shooters, just RPG, fantasy, JRPG, and like you know just MMOs, all these things. Just <laughs> okay. Now, <sighs> all right. So, what else? All right, so there's a few things now. Let me uh, open uh, Ganesha's uh, wiki page because there's a few things that I actually forgot. Um, for example, like you must have seen, like there's 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 a lot of actually like you know um, stories related to Ganesha. Like Ganesha's origin in itself is like in one story where uh, I think I've said this before in L B four as well. Uh, if you were there, you probably heard this story. Uh, that how Ganesha was created, um, as far as I remember, uh, Parvati uh, was feeling lonely. So Parvati, uh, you know, uh, made Ganesha from like you know dirt from her body. She created a sculpture and made Ganesha and gave life to uh, like you know like him. And like <clears throat> then like you know she like you know, Ganesha was her child and she said something about oh I'm going to the bathe. If anyone comes you know like you, you keep guard here if anyone comes don't let them get inside and she went inside to bathe while Ganesha was standing guard Shiva came in Shiva did not know who Ganesha was because as we know like you know like as, as I said Parvati made Ganesha from the dirt from her body so Shiva was una unaware that it was actually his child Ganesha and Parvati's child so he was like uh, where's Parvati let me in and Ganesha did not let him in Shiva got extremely mad and just locked his head off. <laughs> Parvati came, started like you know, just crying uncontrollably. Uh, Shiva realized what mess up he has created, and he was like, "All right, I'm I'm going to revive him." And I think like I don't remember. I think like someone told uh, Shiva to get a head of someone who is like you know sleeping in facing a certain direction. And she goes outside and she, he is unable to find any human like that. And then he finds out there is a elephant who is sleeping. And the time limit was coming like, you know, close to an end. There was a time limit as far as I remember. He saw that there was an elephant kind of sleeping in that direction, facing that direction. He, without getting like, you know, like without much time, he just takes uh, the head of the elephant and comes and um, you know, like puts it in Ganesha uh, on Ganesha and that's why Ganesha has an elephant head and uh, that's like the story of Ganesha's origin and there's a lot of other stories as well if you can see let me check if there's anything uh, uh, where is it no I was trying to find out if there's any story about the mouse because uh, I, I remember the story how he got the mouse but I forgot about it. Like here's the thing: like Indian servants, uh, Indian not servants, Indian uh, gods and goddesses have like a ride, you can say. You know, uh, for example, Durga has a lion, uh, um, <clears throat> or a familiar, you can say, familiar, you can say, um, a ride or a familiar. Yeah, familiar is a more appropriate word, you can say. Um, Durga has a lion. Um, <clears throat> um, Lakshmi has an owl. Yeah. Um, Saraswati has a duck. Kartika, who is another child of Parvati, has a peacock. Ganesha has a mouse. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. And uh, it's been so while I've heard these like you know stories, I forgot most of them. I and I do remember there had been a story how Ganesha got a mouse. I don't remember it. Uh, but I do remember another story, which is another interesting one which kind of shows how Ganesha is intelligent. You know, Ganesha is like one of the most intelligent, uh, like, you know, uh, out of all the ch uh, children of Parvati. Um, there was like a contest 
where like you know uh, like where, where where Parvati and Shiva said that okay you're going to have a race you know on your familiar you're going to ride your familiar and you're going to rev like you know kind of uh, revolve around the universe or yeah universe and you're going to come back and everyone was ready you know like um, Lakshmi on her owl uh, Shaswati on her uh, uh, duck Par uh, Kartika on his uh, peacock and Ganesha had his mouse he's like what am i going to do how can i ride the mouse and all like and revolve around the whole universe i'll become completely i'll, I'll be last but kartika is the one who's the fastest she, he just goes like you know like uh, on his peacock very swiftly and all the others follow ganesha's thinking then what ganesha does is ganesha goes to her mother parvati and shiva her father his father standing there and starts uh, on 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 his uh, you know like familiar he starts rotating around them or revolving around them and they ask what are you doing and he says like my universe is you two uh, my mother and my father and you know and like in a literal sense as well yeah they are the universe they're gods you know Parvati and uh, Shiva so like you know like and he wins he wins the match and like this shows how intelligent Ganesha is and you know this is a lot of stories I've heard about Ganesha when I was a child and uh, I've forgotten most of them <laughs> however <laughs> these few, these two are the only ones that I kind of remember they made a big impression on me something like that so yeah anyways um yeah I went on in storytelling mode I guess for a moment there but <laughs> yeah like I had the most fun reacting to Ganesha's voice lines and uh, like as um as i said i was really surprised when she was released in jp i thought like why is ganesha a female and obviously after i played lost Bell 4 i realized the reason uh, because you know bb connected them bb connected ganesha and um jinako and uh, you know that's how they're here and uh, <laughs> and i feel like uh, jinako is perfect for ganesha and I think obviously that's the reason why Ganesha made a contract with her because they're more attuned to each other, you know, Jinako and Ganesha. And um, yeah, now her, um, her, I, I've seen like you know, her ascension arts uh, are, I have to say, it's quite of unique. Like, you know, you can see like she has four hands, you know, in her final ascension. Um, and she has the little <laughs> elephant hoodie, you can say, that she's wearing. Uh, there's a, I think that's Manju as far as I know. But in, in like you know, in our like you know, in, in, in the, the the pictures that we have in India, uh, it's actually not Manju, but a type of a sweet we have here. They're called a laddu. You know, she has that in her hand. It's kind of a yellowish uh, colored sweet, and it's kind of like that. And I think because it's like you know, like uh, this is uh, you know, like a Japanese. No, uh, you know, like obviously, FGO is Japan, a Japanese game. They kind of changed the Laddu to Manju. I'm guessing these are Manjus that she's holding. Kind of similar, you can say. Uh, the taste, I, I, I'm not sure how Manju tastes, so I can't say about the taste. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess they're kind of similar. They're similar sweets, you can say. And uh, we can see her hands, and she has four hands. And yeah, I do remember Ganesha, yeah. And obviously she has her trusty mouse on her, uh, you know, shoulder and her hand. And uh, yeah. Oh, uh, another reason why, you know, like one of her tusks is broken is that, as I said, the story, you know, like where Shiva found the elephant, the elephant had one of its tusks broken. So that's why, you know, the Ganesha always has one tusk broken. That's the reason. And these, these things. So yeah, now. As I said, I knew a lot of people would get triggered and it, I think it did happen. Like, I remember like there being a controversy about Parvati as well, like where a lot of people from here in India got kind of mad, but it, it kind of died down very easily. Uh, obviously, you know, because these are gods and goddesses. And uh, honestly speaking, I really don't care. Like, because, you know, like, 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 why, why even like, you know, make this such a big deal? This is a game you're talking about. We are not just respecting the actual gods and goddesses, you know, it's just, uh, this is part of a game. And they have, like, you know, FJ has actual reasoning why these, like, you know, servants actually look like them. Like, why Jinako is, like, you know, in, like, is Ganesha, 
they have a reason behind it and you know like i i really don't under like obviously like you know a lot of people like people are like that a lot of people will like you know nitpick about a lot of things and get triggered at the small little things but i i really am like you know like at, at least for me i really get excited when like you know indian servant comes in or something and i always look forward to them so like you know indian servants being introduced to fgo is one of the best things that you know like at least i feel has happened because i'm myself i'm an indian and i would love to see some more as i was just saying in parvati's like you know when i was talking about parvati i would love to see durga i would love to see kali i would love to see any other indian uh, servants shiva maybe shiva someday you know and uh, maybe saraswati or kartika and uh, who else like any any type of god any god you know like god or goddesses or any anyone related to india i would love to see more of them in fgo and i really hope they make more i, I i'm sure like you know like uh, there's a lot of indian servants in fgo and i think indian servants are quite popular you know and, and uh, because especially karna and arjuna my god they are hugely popular <laughs> karna and arjuna's popularity is insane <laughs> and i love that and i would really want them to make more you know like uh, indian servants in the future i really hope they do anyways that's it um i had a blast reacting to this video especially ganesha my god that was hilarious and yeah i'm definitely getting her when uh you know like if she comes uh like you know if, if she spooks me that's all well and good if she doesn't i'll probably get her with the next ssr ticket so that's it this became a long video and yeah thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to two more indian servants ganesha and parvati so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and um next i was going to say next week i'm going to do two more more servants but i think olympus is going to start from next week i'm not sure so i might not be able to do these type of videos for a few more days unless and until olympus ends because i'll be focusing on that so this might be on hold unless and until olympus ends when Olympus uh, will end and I'll, I'll, I'll have fin I've finished Olympus and I've uh, uploaded all the gameplay videos, I'll then again resume this weekly as I do. So if Olympus starts from the next week, I probably won't do this next week. If it doesn't, uh, I, will, I will probably react to um, Kama and Lakshmi Bai. And there are a few other servants left as well, like Arjuna Altar is left. I'm keeping Arjuna Altar for, for the end, ending video. Uh, and like you know so next one i'm going to do kama and um lakshmi bai then i'm going to do nemo and vitra and then the final video will be arjuna altar then i'm going to like sh shift to uh maybe the knights of the round table reacting to them I'll, I'll do it in this manner i think so yeah but if olympus starts from next week i think it will start from next week um, I'll probably focus on that. So I just wanted to let you guys know. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next FGO video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.